Hello, and welcome to another video. In this video, I will be reviewing the recently released Wii U console. For those of you who don't know, Nintendo has finally stepped into the HD era, creating a new console that outputs in 1080p HD. It is a standalone console, and not an add-on to the original Nintendo Wii. A lot of people have been confused about this, so I thought I should clarify. Now, onto the Wii U's hardware. The Wii U comes in two versions currently, Basic and Deluxe. The basic version comes in white and is equipped with the necessities such as an HDMI cable, power adapters, the Wii U gamepad, sensor bar, and the console itself. It does not come with a stand for the gamepad or the Wii U, and only comes with 8GB of internal memory. It costs $300 and doesn't come with a packaged game. The deluxe version comes in black and has the same thing as the basic, but also comes equipped with stands for the gamepad, the console itself, and a Wii U charging gamepad cradle. It is also pre-packaged with Nintendo Land and has 32 gigabytes of internal memory. It'll cost you $350. Personally, I picked up the deluxe version. It is by far the better version of the two with its greater memory and pre-packed goodies. However, even the Deluxe's internal memory is extremely small compared to the more expensive versions of the other consoles. Nintendo has, however, made a viable attempt in rectifying the small memory by allowing you to use an external USB storage device with the Wii U. SD cards, USB drives, and hard drives are all compatible. The best part is, is it's not proprietary, so that means you can use literally any brand that you need to. And that's always a good thing. The main drawing point of the Wii U is the gamepad. The gamepad is equipped with a touchscreen for use during games and applications, and the traditional buttons of a regular controller. Analog sticks can be pressed in, there's two sets of triggers, so the control scheme you're used to on other consoles is still there. You'll be able to watch videos, navigate menus, and browse the web on your Wii U gamepad. The gamepad itself is very similar to a tablet, and includes most of their functionality. But here's the main draw. Let's say you're sitting in your living room playing New Super Mario Bros. U. Your brother comes in and wants to use the TV to watch a program. Normally, you two would bicker until one of you won, and the loser would have to make do. With the Wii U, by pressing a button, the game screen switches from your TV to your gamepad. Your brother can then watch his show and you can continue playing. The gamepad also comes with a built-in front-facing camera. You can also control your cable box with the TV control feature of the Wii U. After a basic setup, you'll be able to change the channels, volume, and input settings on your TV without using a remote. The Wii U itself outputs natively at a resolution of 1080p. The gamepad isn't HD, but a widescreen version of 480p. The screen is 6.2 inches and looks really nice. Colors pop and quality isn't sacrificed on the lower resolution display. Videos played with the Netflix app actually look more impressive running on the gamepad than they do in 1080p on the TV itself. The Wii U does not have backwards compatibility with GameCube games, which is a bit of a letdown. Hopefully they will become virtual console titles in the near future. But until then, your original Wii will have to do for your GameCube fix. Now, onto the Wii U's operating system. The Wii U's operating system is very similar to the 3DS's. Applications are run from touchable boxes on the gamepad, with eShop, internet browser, messages, and other main applications at the very bottom. One interesting application is the newly released Miiverse. It's essentially a Nintendo spin on social networking sites such as Twitter, and honestly, it functions decently well. You can even post messages during games. Video applications like Netflix and Hulu Plus are also part of the Wii U software, along with a YouTube and Amazon Instant Video app. Friend codes are gone, replaced by a new system called the Nintendo Network ID. Players create their own username to interact with people online. It's infinitely better than the friend code system that Nintendo has used previously. The Wii U can run Wii games and applications in a sandbox version of the Wii menu. Pressing the Wii menu button essentially turns your Wii U into an original Wii. You can even transfer over your save data and download the titles and play all of your favorites without needing to switch consoles. That's pretty much all there is about the Wii U. It's a new console, so many of its features haven't been fully refined, but for what is there, you've got a next-gen Nintendo console. Games on it look nice, and it's definitely a step up from the previous Wii console. However, it's still early in its life, and there's plenty of room for improvement, which I'm sure will be taken on with firmware patches. As of right now, I'll say this. If you're interested in the gamepad, or just like Nintendo in general, then you should probably pick up a Wii U. Preferably the deluxe version. For those of you who aren't much of a fan of Nintendo, the Wii U probably isn't going to sway you. I will say that I personally am glad that I purchased a Wii U, and do not regret it. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.